Hi, I'm Jadi and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to quickly show you one of the tools I always use. It's more about fun and swag rather than technical reasons. And that's Oh My ZS Edge. Oh My ZS Edge is a collection of plugins and themes installed or pre-installed or easily installed over the ZS Edge shell. If you know the concept of shell, that is super cool. If not, it's very easy. The shell is what we normally have in our Linux and Unix based machines. When we run commands, when we say blah, blah, see the results, break it, start another command and these kind of stuff. This is called the shell. We have different shells in the Linux world. For example, SH is a one of the oldest still live and used shells. Very simple with fewer functionalities. After some time, someone created the bash, born again shell. This is what nowadays is used in most of the systems. There used to also be and still is active things like CSH, KSH and other shells with different ideas. But the point is when you are scripting, nowadays we mostly script in bash. We write bash script. Some of them may or may not work with all the features of CHH, CSH and KSH. These are not always compatible. Another newer kit on the block is ZSH. This is not new, has been there for a long time, but not as long as Bash was there. We have also other options. For example, some people prefer to use something which is called Fish. Fish is also super cool, but the point is, if you are doing uh, system admin jobs, if you are a programmer, if you connect to different servers, Bash is the de facto program used on most servers. Not de facto, but if you tell me I'm connecting to a server, guess what its shell is? I would say, okay, it's ZSH. Why? Because if it was Bash, you wouldn't ask me to guess. Normal is Bash. So. The good point about ZSH is it's very, very compatible with Bash. Fish is not. So if you're using on your own machine with Fish, it's super cool. But the point is I, as a system admin, as a programmer, as a DevOps person, I do connect to many different servers, virtual machine, different environments, and I should be fluent in these environments. So I cannot start using something like Fish on my own machine, and suddenly I'm on another server and I'm issuing commands which are meaningless there. So, or writing scripts mainly. The general commands are all the same because they are different files, not part of the bash. Anyway, uh, so nowadays, some people and many people are starting to use ZSH. Even systems like Kali at the moment is using the ZSH as default. Or Mac OS X and upward are using the ZSH as their default system. But here I'm on a Ubuntu machine. If I create a new user, for example, to make clean, start clean, I can say sudo uh, add user testing. Good enough. My password, new user's password, retype the password, blah, 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 blah. I will also give this user the admin right. So he or she, me, I can change my shell. I will do what sudo user mode dash add to the group. sudo the testing user. Now I have it. Let's switch to this one. I would say sudo su uh, testing. Set my user as testing. Or I could just log in with this user. Log out and log in from this user. This is the normal bash system. I was using ZSH here by myself. So this is the bash environment. Uh, I can do an export grep for bash. Shell equals this. These are all what things you can go search by yourself. Try, see what export shows or check my videos. 
and you will learn more and more and more. So I want to tell the system that this user wants to use ZSH or Z shell, as some people call it. I would say sudo because I'm changing the passwd file. A uh, user mode shell is being Z shell or ZSH. Uh, which user? The user testing. Give me your password. Okay, because I'm doing sudo here. So I told it I want to modify this user. I want to change the password. Sorry, change the shell to this one for this user. So if I log out and log in once more with that user or log in remotely or whatever, I will be prompted by this. This is Z shell configuration function for new users. I don't have any configuration. So Q does nothing. Zero exit creates an empty configuration file. So this is the configuration file for my Z shell. And one continue to the main menu, do populate with the configuration recommended by the system administrator. Two looks fun. I will go with two. Okay, this is my default Z shell configuration. Why Z shell? As I've told you, first, it's compatible in many cases with bash. So you are in an standard environment. One reason to use the Z shell or ZSH is it's very, very strong TAMs and plugins. Under Z shell, you can have different TAMs with lots of configurations and also you can install plugins. This is kind of possible in bash too, but here it's much easier. But one more reason, uh, this is what I always use. If you go here and create a directory with the, all the parents. So for example, if you have your sources, projects, and your lovely calculator here, in bash, if you want to traverse to this directory, you have to do cd sources tab to complete this projects and calculator. This will work. But under Z shell or ZSH, you can do cd sources, whatever is there, calculator and push tab and it will work. Hmm. I know, not a super huge advancement, <laughs> but anyway, this is cool. Oh, sorry. But we also have the one tool which is very nice and it is called Oh My ZSH or Oh My Z Shell. Uh, it's a delightful open source community driven framework for managing your ZSH configuration. Practically, it comes with a very, very nice pre configured one. And those are cool people creating it. They say, oh my ZSH is an open source community driven framework for managing your Z shell configuration. Okay. Sounds boring. Let's try again. Oh my Z shell or ZSH will not make you a 10x developer. This is a phrase used by many that I, a 10x developer, I'm super duper high performance. Don't try to be. You are getting paid do what you're getting paid for. Anyway, it won't make you a 10x developer, but you may feel like one. Once installed, your terminal shell will become the talk of the town, or you get your money back. With each keystroke in your command prompt, you'll take advantage of the hundreds of powerful plugins and beautiful temps. Strangers will come to you in cafes and ask you, that is amazing. Are you some sort of genius? Finally, you'll begin to get the sort of attention that you have always felt you deserve. Or maybe you'll use the time that you're saving to start flossing more often. So you see, these are cool people. We can trust them and run whatever they asked. It's only one command. Be cautious, never ever run commands you see on the internet, except you understand it, or it comes from, oh, my Z shell. If it says that it makes everything more beautiful, just run it. Don't it. Kidding. It downloads this and runs it. Now you are in the, oh, my Z shell. If you run it, 
That's it. Boarding. Let me exit and run it again. I exited where first shell I ran. Sorry. If you do this now, I'm in my Z shell. There is a configuration file here in my home directory. It's called ZSHRC, just like bash RC. Everything is here. Oh my ZSH or oh my Z shell have configured this for you. So you can change your temps here. There are different teams. You can go from here and see what we have. It's easy as a copy paste. Different teams here. I have a nice team. This is Russell. Robbie Russell is the creator of the Z shell and this is what he uses. Cool. But if you something else you can try all of these for example for this one or you can do with a more fun way you can just edit this and you can say i want to use a random shell now each time your zsh is run or you're logged in you will use one of the random temps Another one, this might be yours. This might be yours. This might be yours or whatever. Or you can choose one of these, which is Agnoster. Again, some joke with the God. Wim. Because I broke this with Control C, this shows as red, so the previous command was not was not successful. This is cool. CD Vim. This shows how long this took to run. These are all fun tricks. I can set this to this one, for example, Agnoster. Okay, now I am super cool. And as I've told you, there are different plugins. For example, here, if I create something like my proj, enter it and say git init, I run a git, I create git init command, create a git repository here. So as you can see, now it tells me that you are on branch master. If I create a file here, the color will change, so it's telling me that you have something to commit and these kind of stuff. And there are lots of different plugins to be used. If you scroll down, there are different configurations, for example, compilation waiting dots, blah, 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 blah. Plugins, only Git is being used at the moment. You can check other plugins here if you want. Plugins. There are different plugins, there are serious ones, there are jokes, there is a cat. LOL cats add some funny commands to your system. And everything, if you are using, for example, Jira, you can add this plugin, it will make your life easier. Uh, honestly, I do not use many plugins because, again, I'm working on different servers on many different times. So, I mean, in my whole day I connect to too many servers. I don't want to change all of them based on my own preferences. Even on some of them we are working with all my colleagues. I can, it's not good, I can change, but they won't be happy if I add some funny thing there. So I prefer to stay with the more default systems. But for example, if you are using NPM, Node, there are different commands where you can uh, add the plugins. Even there are fun ones like one which quotes from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and these kind of stuff. Explore yours and see how it works. If you wanted to repeat my tasks, you have to install the Z shell or ZSH on your system. You could set it as your default one. What I did was user mode, my shell is being ZSH for these specific users. As you may know, it changes the etc passwd file. 
and this is the user this is the shell this user uses whenever he logs in or she or it if you don't know this it's a good opportunity to learn about this practically this is not for just some swag or pimping up your shell this is mainly helps you find where you can learn new things if you just run a command something happens it's not very useful in your knowledge if you want to learn something go for it check how you can change your shell what else you can check what this file means and these kind of stuff this is a good opportunity to learn lots of new things changing your shell or start scripting see what's different between z shell scripting and bash scripting and these kind of stuff anyway have fun enjoy your life and learn new things i was jody i will be glad if you follow and tell your friends